Excellency Co-Chairs, President Julius Mada B of Sierra Leone, are the heads of state and government, Excellencies and Representatives of Heads of State and Government, Honorable Ministers, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, good morning. It is fitting that we are convened in this UNESCO Hall today, both because clean cooking means science, technology, and innovation, and because Tanzania enjoys a historic commitment to environmental conservation while promoting societal well-being. With protected areas encompassing one third of its land, including seven world heritage sites, with clean cooking, Tanzania's story of conservation, harmony and responsibility continues. Clean cooking is about a just energy transition and it's also about positively impacting our people, our planet, and our environment. It should therefore be a priority agenda for Africa. I, in this regard, commend the International Energy Agency for declaring 2024 the year of clean cooking and for convening this summit. I also commend Dr. Birol and the co-chairs for their unwavering dedication and I appreciate everyone here for honoring the invitation to discuss on ensuring clean cooking access for all. Ladies and gentlemen, it is said that currently clean cooking access rates globally range from 60% in Central and Southern Asia to over 80% in Eastern Asia, Latin America and the Caribbean. To the contrary, Africa, the continent with the highest population growth rates and with all necessary natural resources ranks the least in access, in access to clean cooking. Over 900 million Africans rely on unclean cooking solutions, a fact which contributes to environmental degradation, biodiversity loss, and the health hazards. As we see it, Lean cooking in Africa has three dimensions. Foremost is the lack of access to adequate, affordable, and sustainable solutions. Many households, predominantly in the rural areas, struggle to uh, adopt clean cooking solutions due to high costs, limited availability, and insufficient supply chains. The second dimension is lack of global attention insufficient funding and lack of awareness about the economic opportunities with the clean cooking industry that hamper efforts to scale interventions. Moreover, development of the needed solution is limited by insufficient research and innovation. The third factor is absence of smart partnerships to ensure clean cooking access for all. Emphasis must be put on realizing possible, affordable, and tailor-made solutions, and on sustainable responses through development of clean cooking fuels and technologies in Africa. The key role of gas in just energy transition has to be recognized. Excellencies, amidst these challenges, central to Tanzanians' own commitment is delivering on our recent launched 10-year clean cooking national strategy, which aims to ensure that 8% of Tanzanians use clean cooking solutions by the year 2034. A national fund will be established to support clean cooking, and the Prime Minister will provide high-level oversight of implementation of the strategy. Furthermore, given the dispro disproportionate burden faced by women, Tanzania will continue to advocate the African Clean Cooking Support Program, not to only address the environmental and health impacts, but also empower women as agents of change within their communities. Ladies and gentlemen, 
effectively advancing the clean cooking agenda in Africa would help protect the environment by increased use, development access to clean cooking solutions. Increased access would provide women more opportunities to engage in other productive economic activities, arresting cycles of poverty and inequality. On the other hand, reduced use of biomass fuels would slash exposure rates to toxic fumes and, so, and save lives. We are confident that this is achievable. The lessons learned in Brazil, India, and Indonesia serve as prime examples, and um, in Africa, Ghana stands as, ex as an example with lessons to share. Excellencies, I would conclude by saying that this summit underscores our shared commitment to advancing the clean cooking agenda, and central to this are support mechanisms and policy measures that provide a framework towards universal adoption of affordable clean cooking fuels and technologies across the continent. The sustainability of these measures relies on the ecosystem that would mainstream those measures into existing development and environmental financing facilities. And in integrating this in key multilateral platforms. Now to guarantee a resource for clean cooking, this summit has to call and humble requesting for a generous next replenishment, repl replenishment by fund donors, specifically of the African Development Bank, uh, African Development Bank Fund, that includes 12 billion for clean cooking. And of either 21 cycle of the World Bank so as to reach a financial target that the International Energy Agency projects require for clean cooking for all by 2030. We thus thank those who have already contributed and we'll know the number later, but we still welcome more pledges of policy actions, smart partnership and support in ensuring clean cooking access for all. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.